One of the key elements of this piece of legislation is freeing up an enormous swath of spectrum for use in the, uh, to grow jobs in technology and innovation, generate $15 billion to the Treasury to help pay for uh, some of the things that are being discussed today to extend the middle class tax cut, to provide unemployment uh, for those who are seeking work. And uh, in, in the process here, there are estimates that building out the 4G network, which will take spectrum like that that will be made available here, could generate somewhere between 300 and 700,000 American jobs and unleash technology and innovation in America. And in addition to doing that, the Republican House, in concert with our colleagues across the aisle and across the chambers, have come together to finally take care of our public safety officials who on that terrible day in September of 2011, discovered that their devices did not communicate well with each other, if at all. So finally, we have come together to create an interoperable public safety broadband network that they can operate on wherever they are, wherever disaster may strike, and they'll be able to communicate with each other. We've allocated money to build it out. I think we've put a uh, governance uh, structure in place that while is not exactly what I hoped would happen, I think it can function. Uh, we will see. So we have built out a public safety network for our, our public safety officials. That will get underway. This bill will help generate 300 to 700,000 American jobs, generate 15 billion in private sector money coming into the government to help pay for some of this and protect our over-the-air broadcasters, our TV broadcasters who will be asking a voluntary auction if they want to give up their spectrum are protected so that the viewers out there in America will still be able to see and watch uh, their, their over-the-air uh, public or, uh, and private broadcasters. So, uh, Madam Speaker, this is good legislation, Jim and uh, I hope you'll support it.